and welcome to the Kitchen of Eden. Today we will be making a gluten-free meatloaf. What you're going to need for this dish is 85% um, lean ground beef, eggs, applesauce, gluten-free breadcrumbs, chopped onions, very finely chopped peppers, Worcestershire sauce, gluten-free as well, and ketchup. So what you need to do is combine all ingredients. The um, recipe below will um, you're only going to be using half of the ketchup that says in the recipe below in the beginning and you're going to be spraying the rest on top halfway through the baking. So let's combine all the ingredients. And you're going to want to use, um, you're going to want to wash your hands or use um, gloves to mix the mixture together. <clears throat> and while we're mixing this, I have the oven preheating at 400 degrees. So once this is fully combined, you're going to want to take your meat and form a loaf. You can use a loaf pan. I prefer a cookie sheet. So I'm making two of them. That's why I have so much meat here. <clears throat> I'm going to equally divide these in half. Okay, so now I have the loaves um, formed on the pan. I'm going to bake it for 30 minutes on 400, and then I'm going to come back. We're going to spread the rest of the um, ketchup on top and bake for an additional 30 minutes. So here it goes. Okay, so it's been 30 minutes, and we're going to take the meatloaf out of the oven. We're going to put the ketchup on top and then bake it for another 30 minutes. Like I said, I'm doing a double batch, so I'm going to try to evenly disperse my ketchup. But the recipe below is just for a single meatloaf, so you won't have to worry about that. <clears throat> And there is some fat at the bottom of the pan, but once you take the meatloaf out, transfer it to a serving platter, and you don't really have to worry about that too much. Okay, let's put it back in for another 30. Okay, so now it's been a full hour, 30 minutes after we've added the ketchup. We're going to take it out of the oven and um, we're going to plate it and serve it up. Um, if you have any questions or comments or any questions on gluten-free cooking, I'd be more than happy to answer any questions. Just please comment below and um, I'll get right back to you as soon as I'm able to. So let's take this out of the oven. <clears throat> below will be for one loaf and that's what you get. <clears throat> 